Okay guys, today we're going to be doing lesson 30 with Mrs. Fusca, even though I'm not there. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm thinking about you. Okay, our learning target for today is I can divide a three-digit number by a one-digit divisor and understand the place value concept. Today we will be dividing numbers with zeros in the dividend or digits that can't be divided where we need to add a zero to the quotient. Uh, to hold the place. These can be very tricky, so listen up. And also, if you get home today and you're doing your homework, remember that you can, uh, this video will be in the help section if you need to go back and, and, and get some help from the video. Okay, this is just a poster to remind you of the long division vocabulary. Um, so the number that we start with, the number, the total number, is 96, and we're dividing it into four um, equal parts of 24. So the divisor, the dividend, and the quotient. I just wanted to put this up here to remind you um, as we're using mathematical words. And remember, here's, here are the long division steps. First, dad divide. Okay, this is the number that goes on top of the division problem. Multiply, mom, subtract, sister, um, bring the next number down, brother, and then Rover, the dog, we're going to look at, to see if we need to repeat all these steps or do we have a remainder? Okay, we, here we have the problem, 802 divided by four. So I'm gonna write it in the long division form and then we're gonna go through all the steps that are on the right. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna take eight hundreds and divide it by four. That's going, so we did divide, dad. Then we multiply, two times four is eight. Then we sister, subtract, and then brother, bring down. Okay, so now here's the tricky part. So we have zero, zero cannot be divided by four, so we have to put a zero to hold our place value, and then we bring down our two. Two divided by four, we cannot do that either, so we, we put another zero, and then zero times four, we have two as remainder. So now we're going to check this to see if um, 200 four times and then add in our remainder to check. We're gonna use multiplying to check to see if our answer is correct. Okay, so when I multiply 200 times four and I add in my remainder, then I get 802, which is my dividend. So my answer is correct. Okay, now on your math practice sheet, number one, um, I'm gonna have the teacher to pause the video, and I want you to try to do this problem and do the multiplying to um, check your answer. And then once everybody is almost finished, I will have her, um, I will have her uh, turn back on the video, and then you can check your answer to my answer. Okay, if you look here, um, I have divided, and when I brought down my one, you will see that I couldn't divide one by two, so I put a zero to hold my place value, and then I brought down my six, and then I took 16 divided by two is eight. Eight times two is 16. Um, and then I came over here and I multiplied to see if I could get the dividend, and I did. Okay. Okay, go to box number B, and I want you to write this the long division time and try it again. If you're having some trouble, maybe uh, talk to the person sitting next to you. And after you do the box for B, then I'll have the teacher turn on, and then you can check your answer. Um, remember to use multiplication um, to check your answer to see if it's correct. Okay, when I divided 4,905 by three, then my answer is 1,635. And so I did the long division. You can see my dotted lines when I had to bring down. And then I used multiplication over here to the right to check my answer. Okay, please turn in your practice sheet. Um, 
And then also you can complete page 201 to 202. Then go to the carpet and check your answer with someone who has already finished or check with the teacher. Also, if you're still having some trouble with division, please ask the teacher to help you and she can walk you through this. Um, once you have finished that, please get out your Chromebook and go to IXL.com, work on learning grade four, section J, which is logical reasoning, or K, patterns and sequences. And you can work on this until the substitute tells you to put your Chromebook away. Okay, hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.